Institutions. We begin with the story of 30 year old Charles Fields. With the help of IU Health in Indianapolis, Fields had to battle through a harrowing journey when he was diagnosed with coronavirus. He shares the frightening situation he had to go through and shows you what it's like to recover from COVID-19. I just turned 30 before I got it. It was a week after. Uh, I was always outside fishing, walking, I always went to the gym. I mean, just, just normal 30 year old stuff, you know, no medical issues, none whatsoever. It uh, started off with just a simple, like, I was stuffy nose. That's all it was. And then as the days went by, my fever got higher. And then it got up to like 104. So I got. You know, I got nervous about it, so I went to the emergency room. You know, I didn't think I had the virus or anything, but I just thought it was just, just a real bad sinus infection or something. And then the, they did, took an x-ray of my lungs, seeing that there was stuff in there, but they did, I don't think they thought they didn't test me or anything. So, uh, but really it was just, I couldn't sleep and just the fever was the main thing. Well, the next day after the hot, I went to our town's emergency room. Uh, that night just got worse. I just noticed kind of, I was just so fatigued. That's what I felt after that day. And I was telling my girlfriend, just like, you know, something ain't right. So she's like, well, we'll just take you to Bloomington. And then while we were going to Bloomington, that's when my shortness of breath started happening. So I knew something was going on, obviously. And then uh, that's when they found out I had double pneumonia too. So, and then I remember the two days, they finally got my fever down. And then I felt great that one day. And then that night, it's like everything just went south. My breathing just cut off. I remember when I went to the ICU in Bloomington, they put a CPAP machine on me and then they were saying, we're gonna administer you some medication. And then it felt like maybe 10 minutes later, I was out and then I woke up up here. So 18 days later, I woke up up here. Of course, I'm still fatigued and my mind's all cloudy and. I kind of was wondering if I was ever actually going to get out, you know, because I didn't know. I don't know, it was just lonely, you know, because none of your family's there or anything. Life's short, you just don't know when it's going to, what will what, happen. I didn't think that me just turning 30, I'd go the, down the road I just did. I mean, just take precautions, that's my, I mean, yeah, you may not see it, or you may see just videos of it or whatever, but I mean, it's real. People, I wish people understood that, but not to live life in fear. I'm not trying to live my life in fear. I'm trying to go out and do what I used to do, but I take all the precautions I need to take. 